is College Football Now by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Happy to have you with us. On today's show, we will break down the top 25 players in the transfer portal and where their destinations are. Where are these guys headed? What about those that are undecided? We will go through the complete list in just a few moments from right now. Before we do, quick little survey time here on College Football Now. I want to know... Did your favorite team add somebody from the transfer portal? If they did, here's what I need you to do. I need you to like today's video. If not, that's okay too. Don't worry about hitting the like button. But if your team did, just let us know and hit that like button. We'll get started with today's show. We begin with Travis Hunter, the number one overall player in the transfer portal from Jackson State. He is headed to Colorado following Deion Sanders, his head coach at Jackson State and making his way there to Colorado, joining a lot of talent there with the Buffaloes. He was the number one high school recruit in the class of 2020, uh, 22, according to 24-7 Sports and Rivals. Went both ways at Jackson State, and it sounds like there's a pretty good chance he'll be going both ways at Colorado as well. If you recall, Travis Hunter himself said a while back that he wanted to be the next Deion Sanders and that he was going to live up to it. So we'll see what he does making the big jump from the FCS level to the Power Five. Number two on the top 25 players in the transfer portal list is Fentrell Cypress, the cornerback from Virginia. He is headed to the Ohio State and is expected to be a starter right away for the Buckeyes in 2023. Meanwhile, Johnny Cornelius, an offensive tackle from Rhode Island, he is headed to Oregon. Dan Lanning and company with a lot of pickups in the portal. Coming off a solid season in the Pac-12 Conference, they'll be looking to take a big step, step up next year. The top quarterback in the portal, that's Devin Leary from the University of uh, from North Carolina State. He's headed to the University of Kentucky, and Leary was a guy that prior to last season was talked about potentially leaving early for the NFL draft. He started six games last year as he was dealing with uh, an injury there that caused him to miss about half the season. But from what we did see of Leary in 2022, he was pretty solid with 11 touchdowns, four interceptions, over 1,200 passing yards. Will Levis, who was the starting quarterback in Kentucky this past year, ex expected to be a first-round pick in this upcoming April's draft. And Leary trying to follow the footsteps of Levis there at Kentucky and hope that he can earn his way to being a first-round draft pick. So that is the top five as we add in uh, Ollie Jennings, a wide receiver from Old Dominion, headed to Virginia Tech. And when I begin with this first five, I'm very curious. There's two in particular. When you talk about impact players and for this immediate future, for 2023, who's the bigger impact player? Is it Travis Hunter, the number one overall player in this class, or is it the top quarterback in Devin Leary? It is our pin comment today. You might get an ad break. If so, take advantage of it. Get your votes in. Who's going to have the bigger impact next year? Is it Travis Hunter? Is it Devin Leary? If you believe it's Travis Hunter, type TH for Travis Hunter. If you believe it's Devin Leary, type DL for Devin Leary. Moving on on our list now, the Florida State Seminoles added a lot of talent in the transfer portal as head coach Mike Norvell has got a lot to be excited about as Braden Feisk, the defensive lineman from Western Michigan, is headed there, as is Jeremiah Byers, an offensive tackle from UTEP to add some beef on both ends of the line of scrimmage. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs of Georgia, we already know they're back in the college football playoff for the second straight year trying to defend their title. Well, they pulled away one of the best receivers in the Southeastern Conference over to the Dogs as Dominic Lovett at wide receiver from Mizzou is headed over there. The first player on our list that is uncommitted at this point, that is Brennan Armstrong, quarterback from Virginia, still trying to decide where he will go, as is Sam Hartman, quarterback from Wake Forest. Now, Many believe that Hartman is probably headed to Notre Dame. That's according to ESPN. They expect that he will make his way there. And we've seen Sam Hartman play a lot of college football games as of late. His last five seasons, he started 44 games with a 26-8 
15 record. And his stats last season threw for nearly 40 touchdowns with 3,700 yards in a 63% completion percentage. Now you head over to Notre Dame, and he's looking to see if he can take that next step up potentially and uh, lead Notre Dame to the college football playoff next year. Do you think he ends up at Notre Dame? That's what ESPN speculating. It seems like that they think he's headed that way. Or will he head somewhere else? Let us know in the comments section below if you think Sam Hartman is headed to Notre Dame or another school. What would that other school be? Tell us in the comments section below. Today's show is brought to you by Fetch. Fetch is a super easy to use and free app that lets you earn rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you'll earn points for your purchases. And the process only takes seconds. You don't have to worry about where the receipt is from or what's on it. So let me show you how simple it is. All you have to do is open up the Fetch app, press the orange camera button, snap a photo of your receipt, then hit submit and you'll see the confetti pop showing that you've earned more reward points. It's a simple process. You can also click the e-receipt function to get rewarded for your Amazon purchases or other online shopping by syncing your email account. You can then redeem those points for gift cards at Amazon, Starbucks, or any of the hundreds of retailers and restaurants available. Fetch is available on iPhone and Android. Use our link, chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat to sign up for 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. That's the equivalent of a free $5 gift card to get started. It's a free app, and the 5,000 bonus points are only for a limited time. So get started now. Chatsports.com slash fetch. Enter the promo code chat. The link is also in the comments and the description of today's video. The Florida State Seminoles, we mentioned, did a really good job in the portal, and it continued at the tight end position with Jaheim Bell from South Carolina. And South Carolina lost a lot of tight ends. If you recall, Austin Stogner also headed back to Oklahoma there. And so we'll see what South Carolina can kind of redo, kind of what they can do to reload that position. USC, they've brought in a number of receivers already in Lincoln Riley's short time with the Trojans, and they add another one. This time, Dorian Singer is headed there. The Oklahoma Sooners have been very active in the transfer portal as Brent Venables pulled off a really good class, not just with high school recruits, but portal talent as well. And their top guy is edge rusher from Indiana, Desan McAuliffe is headed to OU. Meanwhile, Arkansas adds in Andrew Armstrong from the great powerhouse that is Texas A&M Commerce. He'll be playing the wide receiver spot. And then Justin Wright, our number 15 player on our list, is headed down the turnpike from Tulsa to Stillwater to join the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And Oklahoma State lost Mason Cobb, but it looks like they have a pretty decent pickup with Justin Wright. A second team All-American Athletic Conference performer last season started 32 games for the Golden Hurricanes. And you can see last year he had over 100 tackles, including 10 and a half tackles for loss, two sacks, two interceptions, two forced fumbles, and two fumble recoveries. And have to think that he'll get playing time right away for Oklahoma State. Number 16 on our list, Branson Dean, a defensive lineman from Purdue. He is undecided where he'll go at this point. Meanwhile, UCLA, Chip Kelly ends up bringing in from the Ivy League, Jake Heimlicher is going to fill a linebacker spot for the Bruins. Meanwhile, number 18 on our list, staying in the SEC, Chris Marshall goes from Texas A&M to Old Miss. And we mentioned Oklahoma State earlier. They lost a lot of players, including their starting quarterback, Spencer Sanders. He is in the portal, but still undecided exactly where the former Cowboy will end up. We'll keep tabs on that. And when he decides, we will have it all covered here on college football. Now, speaking of undecided quarterbacks, Grayson McCall, who looks like the best group of five quarterback out there, he is looking for a new home to take his game up to the Power Five level, and his resume was terrific in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A three-time Sun Belt Player of the Year started 32 games in a three-year stretch with an impressive record of 28-4, and four, and a dual-threat quarterback, somebody that Threw for over 70% passing this past season with close to 2,000 yards, 
21 total touchdowns, 146 rushing yards. But if you go back about two years ago, he had over 500 rushing yards. So he's turned into more of a pocket quarterback as of late, but he still has that dual threat ability that you have to be careful of. So where will Grayson McCall end up? He is certainly getting a lot of big time offers and being looked at by a number of schools. Where will he make the jump? Let us know in the comments section below where you think Grayson, where you think Grayson McCall is going to go. A few more names for you. Devin Harris, quarterback from Texas A&M, another loss for the Aggies. He is headed to LSU. Meanwhile, JoJo Earl, wide receiver from Alabama, is headed to TCU. TCU picked up a number of players from the Crimson Tide, and this is probably their biggest of them all with JoJo Earl, who has playing experience with Alabama. A really good pickup for Sonny Dykes and company. Meanwhile, Dante Cyphus, wide receiver from Kent State. He's undecided at this point in time. And number 24 on our list, another pickup for Lane Kiffin as Trey Harris, wide receiver from Louisiana Tech, is headed to Oxford. And the final player on our list, number 25, that is Andre Carter, an edge rusher, is headed to Indiana. So that is the top 25 players in the portal so far. You can see most of them already have a new home, but there's still others that are looking for places to decide. And as they make their decisions, you'll be the first to know here on the channel. But I want to know who was the biggest winner in the transfer portal so far to this point. Let us know in the comment section whether it was a player, a school, a coach. Tell us who you think was the biggest winner in the transfer portal to this point. Subscribe to the channel for the latest happenings in college football. So we count you down to the college football playoff with the latest recruiting news, transfer portal buzz, and more. It's all in one place right here. College Football Now by Chat Sports. Subscribe now. YouTube.com slash at Chat Sports. Thanks for joining us.